guys i'm a little festive today because we are doing some christmas shopping i'm really excited it's already the christmas season and i never actually decorated my house like how my mom used to so i was like you know what let me just go and do some shopping get creative and make my house a little festive we haven't even put up our christmas tree yet but i'm waiting for my husband so that we can do that together so it'll be later tonight or tomorrow but i do want to still get festive and decorate the rest of the house while i am waiting for him to be done with work so that we can do that together so here's the thing though i only want to spend around 30 dollars today and I'm gonna make most of them myself or I'm gonna try my best to stay in that budget or a little over. Hopefully I don't go over, but I wanna only spend 30 bucks and I want to just be creative. So what I'm gonna do first is go into this little coffee shop that I found and I'll show you guys um, a little bit of it. I'm gonna get some hot chocolate and I'm just gonna chill for a moment, do some research on YouTube videos and think about what I wanna make. And then we will go shopping and be really strategic about it. I did find some ideas but most of them will just have to be DIY and I'm just gonna get creative so the first thing that I'm gonna go to is the dollar store because that's probably the best option for right now all right guys we're at Dollar Tree let's see what we can find I'm trying to find things that aren't too tacky and things that I can make into household decor items for my house I didn't get everything that I wanted. There's still a few things, so I'm probably gonna go back out. And I was a little bit over budget and it ended up being $41, but we got a good amount of things for $41. I'm gonna show you what I got and we'll see what we can do with that. All right, so first I got these. They were $3 and I thought it would be a really nice additive to the space. And then I got some nice ornaments. I really wanted them to be Kind of rustic i also have mostly silver accents in my home so i thought having silver would be nice so i have a couple of these glittery silver deers which i need to be careful of because the glitter just kind of gets everywhere kind of cute and then i got this one that is an ornament but i want to make it into a decor piece instead so i'm gonna see what i can do with this play around with it and then I got a couple of these, and I also got this, which is pretty cute. And then this got a whole bunch of dust and glitter on it from the items, but I also got this. I don't really have very many gold things, so I think I want to paint it. We'll see. And all of those items were only $1.25, even this, only $1.25. So that's pretty good, honestly. I got some wrapping paper, and it says Noel on it and it's pretty cute honestly like it's it's really simple and minimalist which i like i've been wanting to decorate behind my couch so you guys will see later what i'll do with this i also got this i want to make a wreath but i didn't get the items to actually make that happen so i just have this for now and then i will later on get more things to be able to um play with it Next, I got these, which were $1.25, and they're really cute. They go together, and one is higher than the other. And then I also got these taper candles that are going to go great with these. I think it's, like, really cute. So, yeah, only $1.25 for this set as well. And then I wanted a bigger decor piece, so I did get this deer. And I have some ideas of what I'll do with this, so I thought it'd be really pretty. And I'm definitely going with, like, the white theme. So, there's that. And then I got these two wired candy canes, only $1.25 each. Next, I have this 
Christmas tree. I actually got two of these and it also has LED lights in them. I just have to put a couple of batteries on the bottom. I actually didn't really realize that when I got it. But honestly, it was a really good haul. For $41, different things like this would have been much more expensive at other stores. So honestly, I'm not I'm not mad about it. It's pretty good. Okay guys, we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby quick. I am going over my budget, but hopefully not by that much. I'm going to get a couple more things that I want and we'll be right back. This is exactly why I have a hard time going to Hobby Lobby. Didn't want to come here first because I know that I overspend, but I'm gonna try and give myself a budget of only 20 bucks. So let's see what I can do with that. I I'm gonna try, but it's Hobby Lobby, so we'll see. That didn't really go as planned. I ended up spending $58. I only want to spend around $30 today. So total all today was about $88. I only want to spend around $30 today. Or $98 actually. So basically $100. So yeah, but I saved a lot of money by shopping at Dollar Tree first. And I also saved a lot of money here. I saved about 50 bucks here because everything was on sale. So that was good. I will show you guys later what I got. It's the next day. I didn't spend any time decorating yesterday. I spent a lot of time at Hobby Lobby. And by the time I was done shopping there, I had to go pick up my husband and we spent the rest of the night together and I didn't do anything. But I will show you what I did do. I did a, I did a little something. I had these frames that I wanted to have on my gallery wall back here, but they weren't the color that I wanted them to. So I got this little wax paint situation and I ended up last night painting them so that it could match my other frame, which is this one. So this already came like this. I got this at the thrift store and then my other ones, they now look like this. They are completely dry. They used to be gold. You can kind of tell from the inside a little bit or from the back but now they are this color, which is gonna work perfectly with the colors that I have, which is black, white, and another type of silver like this. So that's what I wanted to do as one of my crafts. And I got that paint at Hobby Lobby that I found, which was great. And now I'm gonna do a haul with the things that I got from Hobby Lobby. The first thing that I got was this wrapping paper. I think it's so pretty. It has these uh, snowflakes on it. And you can't really tell with, there we go. It has these beautiful snowflakes on it and I thought it would look really nice with the thing that I'm going to do with the other wrapping paper, which you guys will see in a moment. And then if you guys didn't know, Hobby Lobby actually has beautiful silk flowers. I ended up getting this. You can tell that this one's fake, but it's okay. I think it's really pretty. I'm gonna make a little arrangement for my coffee table. The next thing that I got was this little star for my Christmas tree. I also got these because they're really cheap and because I love to decorate ornaments with my husband. I wanna, um, we had like a tradition like about two years ago now where we decorate ornaments. And then I have this ribbon. I think it's really pretty. It's like a velvet, a velvet red ribbon. And I think it's really beautiful. So I ended up getting these, they were really cheap and you know, just a regular Christmas stocking. Then I got this, I wanted to have some, I don't even know what this is called. I think it's garland, maybe? I don't know. I wanted to have some like this and I'm gonna be decorating it, so yeah. And then I got these white ornaments. So that's everything I got. My living room looks like a mess right now. Literally all the decorations are on the floor, but I'm going to be showing you guys what I'll do in a moment. So I'm taking off all the petals from these roses and I'm gonna use them later for the decor and you'll see that. And I'm shortening them for my vase because it's a shorter vase. I really loved these beautiful white flowers and I really just think that it goes with the theme of white and silver, like how I like it for my home. Next, I'm taking apart this other plant and making it so that I can be more creative with it and put it throughout the whole entire arrangement. And then I'm just kind of spreading out the leaves of the pine, I'm pretty sure it's pine tree leaves. And now I'm arranging it like how I like. I really like big spread out bouquets. I don't circle and after 
I did it. I think it turned out so beautiful. I was so proud of this. I loved that I put that little pine cone in there and I think it matched perfectly. I ended up taking out the candles and putting them there, but I didn't like the basket underneath, so I took that out. And now I'm just thinking about how I'd like it to be arranged. I took a long time looking back and really just trying to see what I'd like for it but I ended up coming to conclusion that I didn't want anything underneath and instead I just put this red ribbon I thought it went, looked really beautiful and I took those leaves that I took off of the flowers and put them all around the arrangement and then I started to place pine cones around the area and I think it turned out so beautiful I also had that reindeer over there and just look at this it's so beautiful it's gorgeous and honestly this was mostly from the dollar tree so i think it just turned out absolutely beautiful next what i'm doing is making a collage for the back of my couch i've been wanting to do this for so long but now that i'm doing it for christmas i thought i'd do it christmas themed so i'm taking the wrapping paper that i got and i'm using it as my photos and i had um only two different wrapping papers so i'm just doing that for every other one and now I'm tracing them on the cheaper wrapping paper so that I can make a layout above my couch before I actually put the holes in my wall. I also made sure that I put little dots where the nails would go so that I can just nail right through the wrapping paper and it'll be perfect placement and you guys will see in a moment how I do that. I also found this little picture of my husband and I a long time ago with Christmas hats on so I just thought it was perfect with the theme so I used that and I'm doing the same thing by tracing it with the wrapping paper. I also had this really pretty letter board so I'm just putting Christ is born and making it really simple and I can change it whenever I'd like and I'm also tracing it and now I'm just placing them where I think they would look good at and it took me a long time to figure it out. I rearranged them a lot. But at the end of the day, I ended up going to Pinterest and found inspiration and this is what I came up with. And I honestly really liked it. So now that I have that, I am using command strips for that one, but I didn't have enough for all of them. So then I just started to use nails and hammered into the wall. At the end of my lease, I will put, um, I'll make sure I fix that before I leave. So yeah, this is what I'm doing to make sure that I am getting a really nice collage and honestly it's really nice and after Christmas I'm going to be putting regular photos and artwork in here so it just worked out really well. The last thing that I did was use ribbon to create this Christmas effect on the pillows. They were already white and I think that they're really nice in the space but I thought spicing it up with some red ribbon and making them look like little gifts would be really nice and they turned out super cute. I highly recommend it if you have ribbon and some neutral colored pillows. After all that, look at how gorgeous my living room turned out. I am absolutely obsessed. I think everything just goes really well together and I love it. If you're interested in more content like this, then definitely subscribe because I will be posting more about me decorating the rest of my home. But I hope you guys loved it and I will see you in the next video.